In this video, we will demonstrate use of the Contour Details dialog. Contour plots can be used to show the variation of one variable across your dataset. To add a contour layer to your plot, toggle on Contour in the plot sidebar. Note that contours can only be plotted with organized data with a grid, such as IJ ordered, IJK ordered, or finite element data. The current variable longitude isn't very interesting compared to some of the other variables in this FVCOM dataset of Massachusetts Bay. To adjust the contour, click the Contour Details button. This opens the Contour and Multicoloring Details dialog. You can change the variable used from the drop-down menu at the top of the dialog. When I choose Salinity, the plot will update. TechPlot360 will automatically assign the contour levels based on the variable range in your dataset. You can add new contour levels at specific values by entering them in the Add Level field. Or you can reset all levels by clicking Set Levels and entering the Minimum, Maximum, and Specify Distribution in the Contour Levels dialog. You can adjust the current color map or choose a different one from the drop-down menu in the center of the dialog. For this plot, we want a sequential color map, such as the default Viridis color map or one of the CM Ocean color maps. These color maps are perceptually linear. That is, there is a linear increase of luminosity across the scale. Many of the CM Ocean color maps will be useful for this dataset, but I will select the Haline color map to match the salinity variable on the plot. You can also load your own color map or export the existing color maps in TechPlot360 by clicking on the gear icon. See our Knowledge Base article for step-by-step -step instructions on importing your own color maps. If I wanted to cut off my contour above or below a specified value, I could also do that here. There are other options for fine-tuning your color map as well, like changing the distribution method and reversing the direction of the color map. Next, I will select the Contour Legend tab to make some adjustments. This tab can also be opened by double-clicking the Contour Legend in the plot. First, you can see the legend is too tall with all the additional contour levels added. Simply toggle on Resize Automatically to scale down the height of the legend. Here, you can also change the legend orientation from vertical to horizontal, add custom header text, alter font size and type, or change the text color if needed. If I zoom out to get a better picture of the surface, the contour legend is difficult to see because of the georeferenced image behind it. Correct this by selecting the legend box and toggling on Fill to add a white background. The contour variable groups defined by this dialog are also used by a number of other features. For example, in the zone style, a number of features allow you to color by a contour group. The Contour tab is the most obvious, and it controls the type of contouring and the contour group used. Other zone layers, such as the Mesh, Vector, and Scatter tabs, can take advantage of the contour groups. For example, I can change the color of the mesh of the plot to any of the defined contour groups from this Color Chooser dialog by selecting one of the multi-numbers at the bottom. or by using the right-click context menu on the plot itself. The definition of isosurfaces is a lesser-known connection with the Contour Details dialog. Each isosurface can be defined by a contour group variable. In the Isosurface Details dialog, clicking on the gear icon will take you to the Contour Details dialog where you can set a contour group variable to use for the ISO surface. This concludes the tutorial on using the Contour Details dialog. Thank you for watching.